So let us now implement this two-step Runge-Kutta method. Uh, before we do that, let us put our already coded part into its proper switch case. That is one step RK. So let me say new switch, and it will switch based on config dot number of RK steps. Okay, it will begin here. It will end here, and we will have a case wherein the number of steps is equal to one. So let me say one step okay so if this is the case and i'll break out of this and then we will have let us define a default case and let us say All right. So what I have done here is I have created two cases. One is case one. One is case two. In case one, that is when number of RK steps is equal to one, I am doing just the old uh, way of integration which we have been using. And now let us define this in case two. That is when number of RK steps is equal to two. So whatever I am going to put here is going to be implemented or is going to be used. All right, so looks like the implementation for two step RK method is done. So, what I have done here is now that if you look, this two step RK method behaves differently if the if it is the first step and it behaves uh, differently if it is the second step. So, if it is the first step, then it behaves exactly like the Euler time integration. That is this one. So if uh, RK step is zero, then this is going to be equal to zero plus one, so one. And this is going to be zero plus delta t divided by cells into cell one total flux. This looks okay to me. This is basically the uh, slope that that I was talking about from here to here. Right? Total flux. That is. Delta F divided by delta X. All right, and then the second step is when case that is when case is one that is R K step is equal to one. In that case, one plus one so two. So this remember it is going to be U two. That is it's going to be stored in the second index of the uh, array. So in that case. It's going to be 0.5 multiplied. I have taken this 0.5 common everywhere, and then it's going to be zero because one minus one is zero plus uh, u one because R K step is one, and it's going to use the total flux at one because that is what the R K step is, and we would have calculated this total flux in the previous step if you remember in that main uh, main method, right? And obviously, it should never reach 
uh, a state which is not, neither equal to 0 or 1 then we are looking at rk2 so in case if we do some coding mistake then it will throw this exception i hope it never throw, throws this but it is just to make the code foolproof okay so looks good to me it's very important to put a break statement everywhere i hope i have not missed any break statement otherwise both the cases will run if there is no break after say for example case 0 then uh, even if our case step is 0 even this will be run which should not happen i think looks to, i think everything looks to be fine so what will i do is i will now go to config file and i'll change it to two step instead of one step i'll make it two step rk and let me run this code okay it took three seconds to run and let me look what has happened to this files out here oh i think i might have for I'll, I'll just delete this files and rerun that code and also i have to see where is the output okay I'll, I'll run this and it has created this 34 files for me and now I'll run the python code and look at the plots this was not supposed to happen i think i did not change that initialization function Since it's been a long time, I forgot that I had changed the initialization. So let me delete those files again and rerun it with the new initialization. Okay, looks like there is nothing wrong with our code at least it is it looks to be fine we cannot tell exactly whether uh, at this point whether there has been any improvement due to increase in order until and unless we implement the space uh, discretization however we are not going to implement the space discretization as of now we will do it after we finish the three step we get the uh, method in the next video so thank you very much and see you soon